welcome back to my channel. As you can read by the title, today I will be teaching you how to take bomb pictures for your online boutique and all you're going to really need is a nice background, a good quality cell phone, possibly a steamer, and just some natural lighting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right in. So one thing I'm going to say off bat is to go ahead and get this rug for 20 bucks. This little $20 will change your life. So just trust me on that one when I tell you to go cop it. This itself is going to make a huge difference in your photos. So this will be our background. And then make sure you have a nice cell phone. I would say at least have an iPhone 7 or above to take your photos. And we're going to be doing this during the day before 4 p.m. So ideally you want to do this at least two hours before the sun sets. So if the sun sets at seven, you wanna go ahead and do this before five. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So one thing you're going to want to do before you get started is if your clothes is too wrinkly, go ahead and just steam it out with a little steamer like this because it is going to be a headache to edit all those wrinkles out down the road. So if your clothing is too wrinkly, like for example, this dress, I would go ahead and get those wrinkles out before you start taking the pictures because it's gonna be harder for you later on to edit those photos and get them to look nice. So don't be lazy, just get a steamer and quickly get those out. If you've ever walked into a boutique before, you've probably noticed at some point that they have these big steamers that they use. And that's in the case that if they have returns, they can make them look nice again so they can just put them right back up on the shelf. So now that my steamer has heated up, we're just going to go ahead and get the wrinkles out real quick. Y'all, I did not realize that my pant tag was hanging out in this, but that's okay because now you guys know that I wear Victoria's Secret, so. <laughs> And so now you want to go ahead and grab your smallest size and you want to grab your smallest size because our background is already small and we want it to fit on there perfectly. So go ahead and grab the smallest size that you sell. So before I start, I just like to brush the rug downwards that way it's all pretty and facing the same direction. And then if there's any little things in it, I just make sure to pick it out. That way it doesn't show up in the photo later on. Also, I try my best to get this angle where you guys can see what I'm doing. So basically what I do is I just start by throwing the item down. And once I throw it down, I just start to give it a little bit of shape. I'll go ahead and shape it up the way you want. Take your time with this. I usually pull it in a bit at the waist and just pull the sides out a bit so it all looks neat and it looks flattering. And then you can always add jewelry or some bags. And that's a really good way to upsell your items. I personally don't do it that much because I like to keep the pictures just kind of simple, but I know a lot of people who do this and it works out very well for them. And so now I'm actually going in and taking the photo and I always like to get different angles just so I can always have a variety of pictures to choose from. And I personally find that they look a lot better when I angle them a little bit. So usually I'll slant it a bit and then get down a little bit lower if that makes sense. And then of course you gotta make sure to get pictures of the details, especially if you have any nice cutouts or anything that really just stands out about the dress. And I don't know if you guys know this, but if you click the photo and drag down on that little sunshine icon, you can actually go ahead and control the exposure while taking the photo. So I usually do that and I usually drag it down so it's a little bit darker because it's always easier to add light to the photo than to make the photo darker. And now I'm just flipping it over to the back and the back is usually pretty easy because all I do is add some shape to it and then I get a couple of good flicks and that is it. For a dress like this where there's a lot of detail that's kind of hard to see because the dress is black you might want to have a picture of somebody actually wearing it that way people can actually understand what the cutout is and what the dress would look like on a real person so here i'm just doing another example for you guys and i'm just going to rebrush the carpet to make sure it still looks good and now i'm just going to go ahead and style the dress again i'm going to pull the straps down a bit to make them a little bit shorter i'm going to roll in the sides to give it a little bit of that shape and then we should be all good 
And then here, I'm just going to readjust the dress a little bit to my liking. Don't be afraid to move things around and change things up if you don't like how it looks in the photo. So after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So as I said, you want to angle it a bit and get down low so it gets this kind of angle that I'm going to show you. And then make sure to use that little toggle icon to get a lower exposure on your photos. And even if you don't exactly like the angle that I'm doing where I'm getting low and slanting it a bit you can always get a bunch of different angles that way you can look back on them and pick the one that you like the most so i always make sure to get some close-ups i get them from just a regular straight angle and always from the slanted one that i told you guys about so here i'm just showing you a comparison of both of the angles that i take and honestly they both look good so it's going to be up to your personal preference but you can keep it the straight on way or you can use the slanted angled way that i prefer for my store and then we got to get the details, of course, and then you guys know what to do. We're going to finish it off with just taking a picture of the back. So there is one more thing I want to tell you guys about before I let you guys go. So certain photos I do go back and touch up. So for instance, this one, because of the type of material it is, it still managed to get some wrinkles even though I steamed it out. So I'm going to go ahead and just touch it up and, and make it look a little bit more smooth. And then if need be, I'll go ahead and resize them. And usually for all my photos, I'll go ahead and resize them because my theme on Sh Shopify, unfortunately, does not resize them automatically. So that's pretty much it, guys. You can definitely take these pictures without the rug. But personally, I think investing $20 into a rug like this isn't that big of a deal. And you can see how big of a difference it makes in your photos. So thank you all so much for watching. If you have any more questions at all about this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and I will try and help you out. So again, make sure to subscribe if you want to learn how to start your own boutique, how to make more money online, and how to become an entrepreneur. So thank you guys so much again. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.